Welcome to this radio video and this is the last one in the HF Amateur Radio Bands um, and we're going to talk today of the work bands. We're often hearing the term work, uh, work for WARC for the World Administrative Radio Conference. The work bands consist of three small portions of HF spectrum that was um, created in 1979 and they were open for use in the early 80s so um, what happened is a lot of amateur radio stations wanted to have diff uh, you know some spectrum more spectrum because there was so much activity on the amateur bands that they wanted to have more amateur bands to uh, relieve the crowded bands so they created the first one it's uh, 30 meters 10.100 to 10.160 this one is special because it only has signals either in CW Morse or digital nothing else there's no voice on the 10.100 to 10.150 So basically, nothing heard at this time, but uh, I often, often hear uh, some digital modes and also some CW on that band right now. Uh, but you're in the middle of the day, it's not the best time for that band. Uh, the band is uh, kind of a mixed band. Um, it's, you know, in the middle between. 7 megahertz that is mostly a local daytime band in a good DX band for evening and uh, in the middle between the uh, 7 megahertz and the 14 megahertz band that is more, more of a daytime band good for DX so it shares half of the characteristics of each there are periods of the day when it's actually very good for DXing and periods of the day where it's going to be a little more local but because it's higher than 7 megahertz uh, the distance for daytime propagation is slightly longer uh, so you will hear probably CW signals a little farther away than on 7 megahertz during the daytime and um, it's one of the bands that is very good at uh, sunrise sunset periods and um, in the night time uh, it depends on propagation in the winter time with low solar activity you might actually not hear much on 10 the 10 megahertz amateur band but in um, in summer it should be open pretty much all night so uh, you can give it a try no voice stations only CW signals and um, digital modes most of the time for uh, this band um, so it's really really no voice you'll never hear any voice amateur radio stations there the second um, work band that we call our WARC band is 18.068 to 18168. If you notice, the bands are very, very small. Uh, on the 30 meter band was 10.100 10 to 10.150, so it's only 50 kilohertz wide. And on the 18 megahertz or the 17 meter band, it's from 18068 to 18.168, ah, 100 kilohertz. Here it's shared with some CW signals at the beginning and also a few digital modes and it rapidly goes to upper sideband voice because of propagation conditions right now we don't hear much but it's an interesting band to monitor um, of all the work bands this is probably the one that I listen to the most uh, lots of stations actually used uh, 18 megahertz or 17 meters so you should try it 
And finally, the last Wark band, or before we go on, just the propagation characteristics of 18 megahertz resembles a lot the one of uh, 15 meters or 21 megahertz. Mostly daytime with an hour or two after and before sunrise and sunset. But in the summer, with long days and a higher solar activity, uh, you'll often hear it almost 24 hours uh, with signals. And finally, the last band is the 12 meter amateur radio band that goes from 24.890 to 24.990, another 100 kilohertz spectrum here. So you see these bands are quite small, 100 kilohertz wide. Like 18 megahertz, the first part is CW signals. And the rest of the band will be in upper sideband. See here, there's a station there. It's an interesting band. It's probably less used um, than um, 17 meters. As for propagation, it uh, shares a much closer resemblance to 10 meter band on 28 megahertz mostly daytime with some nighttime in the summer but uh, rarely 24 hours most of the time after an hour or two after sunset or sunrise uh, before sunrise it will uh, shut down for the night uh, but it's mostly uh, daytime but it's good for DX and uh, I've heard lots of Europeans on this uh, done this van actually so uh, this is the last of the work bands. So three work bands available: 10.100 to 2150, 18068 to 18168, and 249890 um, to 24990. <clears throat> One of the uh, interesting features of these three work bands is the fact that there is never contesting. Um, if you've ever listened to the radio bands when there's a contest to the amateur radio bands, you'll notice that it's very, very difficult to make a regular contact because everybody's just chatting along on all the frequencies trying to get contacts. So what happened when the uh, work bands were available, there was a general agreement among amateur radio uh, enthusiasts not to use these bands for contesting because they are so small uh, only a hundred kilohertz wide they don't want to actually interfere so there's never never contests on these warp bands in general um, I, I'm not aware of any contesting in the warp bands only uh, maybe it's possible though but uh, most of the big amateur radio contests will tell you all bands are open except warp or because they just want you to keep these bands quiet. So, in contesting, if you want to try to make contacts, the best thing to do is go to the work bands while the contest is uh, happening on the other bands, so that you'll know you'll be able to have regular contacts at least on some of these bands. So, uh, these are the work bands. Hope that you enjoyed. Why not tune along and try it out? You'll never know what you hear. Well, thanks for watching, 73.